I just wanted to come on and say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the three million people who continue to be excluded from the support schemes provided by this government. And to save many, many thousands of lives. And I know that as they have in the past, so many times, the people of this country will rise to that challenge and we will come through it stronger than ever. We will beat the coronavirus and we will beat it together. And therefore, I urge you at this moment of national emergency to stay at home, protect our NHS and save lives. Thank you. So this is my house. House. So it's the 26th of March. Um, been in isolation for about two and a half weeks now. Um, the first week, well, first two weeks was because of me. I had uh, symptoms. And then um, about halfway through my isolation, um, Sam was identified as um, a high vulnerability. Um, so obviously uh, the whole family had then to isolate for a further 12 weeks. And also, maybe my naivety, I don't know, um, uh, that uh, I would, it would automatically, um, I would automatically get the SSP. <clears throat> automatically get the SSP. And, um, but obviously that's not happened. Don't know what we're gonna do. My thoughts and fears in regards to you being at home was um, my feelings were worried because I thought we were gonna run out of money because you and Mum both weren't in work and um, I knew we were struggling at that point. So I constantly worried that we weren't gonna have dinner that night or we weren't gonna we were gonna get chucked out of the house. That they put their arms around the country, that they do whatever it took to support businesses and individuals. That no one would be left behind. And today I just feel crushed. A month ago, around one in 400 people had the virus. Now it's around one in 1,700. And this means that tomorrow, the Prime Minister will be able to set out the next steps in our plan to ease the national lockdown. But there's one group who've been more patient and given up more than almost any other, and that's the 2.2 million people who've been shielding in England. And then they'll extend it again, and then I'm stuck again. I'm stuck. You can keep progressing. And I'm stuck. <laughs> Not even funny. What? Your son's done something again. What? What? PVA glue all the way down the banister. Hmm? Where? Sticky on the edge. Where? There's PVA glue all down the edge. All down the edge of the banister, all the way up. Oh,
Where's the birthday uh, girl? With schools, I've I've not done very well in school. I mean, like with friends and with friendships and Yay. with just people in general. Like Yay. I've never really been bad at school. I've never been seen as the dumb one, as people might say. I've um, more been seen as like the weird one. So I've been bullied since I was eight, nine. It's debatable. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. It would just be, it'd start out with little things like, the fact that I was ginger, which is why I dyed my hair black as soon as I got out of hospital. Um, and I, w I used, literally used the fact that I got bullied in school because I was ginger so that I would be able to dye my hair. In normal circumstances, what do we do now? <laughs> this would never happen. So, Mum, what, what do you think about that? About what? About that. Uh, I think it was more of a cry for help because no one had noticed that I was cutting myself. No one had noticed that I changed quite a lot in the past few months. Matt, you're happy to be in every day. Oh, oh pop off, sis. Yeah. <laughs> she did tell me sometimes about how she felt and that she wasn't happy and stuff, but I just put it to the side because. I was struggling myself at that point and I wasn't, I wasn't in the best mental state of my own. I wrote this a long time ago. There's lots of background noise. I don't care. My fingers hurt. Look. <laughs> and again, I did it again. This has been a big day and an emotional day for millions of families up and down the country. Children see and play with their friends at school for the first time in months. What did you say? Just what did you say? I don't own all of this. I'm climbing my bubble so I can dip it in. I'm doing it. Oh, bye bye. Here we go, Gina. And you hear the views back. Paradise and I'm so happy to be free.